Hello YouTubers, I am Parwiz and this is our fifth video in C++ programming language. In the previous video we have learned about if else statement or condition in C++ programming language. In this video we are going to talk about shorthand if else or also we can call it ternary operators in C++ programming language. Now if you see this example, we have an if else in here. So we have just int number and it's uh, the value is 10. And in here we are going to check that if our number is greater than or equal to 10, we are going to execute this statement. In the else case, we are going to do this. So if this condition is true, we are going to just s execute this code. And if this condition becomes false, we are going to execute the else condition. Now if you run this, obviously, obviously you will receive that uh, the number is greater than 10 because this condition is true. Now if I run this, you will see that number is greater than 10. You can see number is greater than 10. But now if I change this to 8, now in this case, this condition is false. It will not execute this code, but in the case, it will execute the else code in here. Now if you run this, you will see that I am receiving number is less than 10. You can see that number is less than 10. Now, the main point in this example is this, that in here we have four or five lines of codes in this section use it for creating of else, uh, if and else uh, statement in C++. Now, in another way that you can do this in C++, you can use ternary operator or also we can call it shorthand if else. Now, let me just remove this code and we are going to just use our shorthand if else in here okay now we have int number let me just change this to 10 for right now okay so now using i'm going to use shorthand if else i'm going to just say number so first i'm going to write the condition so if my number is greater than equal to 10 so if this is the condition what I'm going to do so this is my if so if this is the condition I'm going to see out that number is greater than 10 so if this is the case now I'm going to just see out that number is greater than 10 so let me just end L and line now in the else case so you can add else case let me just add it in here so in the else case I'm going to say that now if this condition become false what I want to do I want to see out so see out that uh, number is so uh, and here number is greater than I'm going to just say uh, number is less than than 10 less than 10 and I'm going to just end the line in here okay now if I run this you will receive that number is greater than 10 you can see that number is greater than 10 so here we are going to check the condition so first we have written our condition that if this is the condition we are going to just say this if this condition is true we are going to just do execute this statement now in the else case now in the else case if this condition is false we are going to execute this code so now if the condition become false for example i'm going to just say eight and if i run this you'll see that i'm receiving that number is less than 10. so you can see that number is less than 10 because this condition is now false now if you make this 12 you will again receive that number is greater than 10 because the condition is true and our number is not less than 10 so you can see that number is greater than 10 so now this was a simple example of uh, short NFLs now let's just make it a little complex example and we are going to just uh, do the ex our example based on the user input so in here I'm going to just create a uh, uh, some variables so first I'm going to just create int a after that I'm going to just create int b and now I'm going to just create another val variable and c and I'm going to make the value to 20 after this I need to 
some I need some of these two values for this I'm going to just create another variable I call it sum like this okay now after creating of this I'm going to get the user input and I store the user input in my these two variables after getting the two values I'm going to sum these two values and uh, compare the value the sum of the value with the C so now let me just show you practical first I'm going to just say C out and I'm going to tell the user that please uh, enter first number like this let me just end line <coughs> and after the user input a number I'm going to store the number in my a variable after that I'm going to just create say to please enter second number and I'm going to just end line in here after getting the number I'm going to store the number in my B variable okay so now I have got two values from the user after this what I want to do I want to sum this these two values A plus B I want to add these two values and store that value in my the sum variable that I have created at the top after this now I'm going to just use the short and if else or uh, we can call it ternary operators and we are going to compare our the sum with the C value that I have already created in here and assign the value to 20 so now let me just show you I'm going to just say that if my sum is greater or greater than or equal to uh, C so if this is the condition I want to see out that sum is greater than C sum is uh, greater than C value end line so if this condition is true I want to say this now if this condition become false let me remove this this is the else condition now in the else I'm going to just say that sum is less than C value I want to see out that sum is less than C value and I'm going to just end line okay now let me just describe the code again and here I have created some variables the first two variable is for getting the user input and here I have created another variable variable called C and I have assigned the value to 20 after that I have created an end sum to sum these two values and store that in my sum after that I'm going to get the user input so I'm going to see out that please enter first number when the user enter the first number I'm going to store that in the a variable after that I'm going to get the second number and I'm going to store the second number in the B value after that I'm going to plus these two values add these two values and store that in my sum variable and at the end I'm using shorthand if else to check this the number so I'm going to check that if this condition is true it means that my sum is greater than C so so for the C I have 20 if the sum became 21 22 23 above 20 I'm going to just execute this statement that sum is greater than C value in this case this is true now if the sum become uh, uh, less than 20 for example 19 uh, 18 17 5 10 this condition become false and I'm going to execute the else that sums less than C volume so now let me just execute the code and you will know what I mean okay now it's telling me that please please enter first number so first let me just enter uh, the lower numbers like 3 plus uh, 2 so you can see I am receiving the sum is less than C value it's because if you see in here my sum is 20 and uh, I have received uh, uh, 5 now 5 is less than uh, uh, 5 is less than the C value and in this case the, this condition become false and it's executing that the sum is less than C 
now let me execute it again uh, this time I'm going to just uh, add uh, okay so now this time I'm going to just add uh, for example 10 and I'm going to just add 12 now you can see it's telling me that sum is greater than C value it's because uh, now this condition is true and if you see the C value and the C value is 20 and uh, uh, if the C value is 20 uh, now this condition is true and this condition when it's true I'm going to receive the sum is greater than C value so like this you can use uh, shorten if else in C++ programming language I will add the source code to the video description if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video